Hey guys, it's your boy Vibag with more Mall Fish Bite content. Taking a look at Mephisto real quickly, going towards the build as well. He does have five wooden blessings and everything else. So this intro that I'm doing right now, actually, I thought I would just post a BX run, just one single one, and uh, of course put some music in so that you guys can know. And this is how my uh, cards look like right now. Although. I'm kind of disappointed that even though my cards are better now, I'm ending up at around the same score that I was getting before. So, maybe. <laughs> Anyways, rotation is gonna be 3, cancel 2, cancel 1, 5, hold and then 4. Okay, let that finish and then run around, run around. Then 2 seconds remaining on the 5th skill, we'll go 2, cancel, 1, cancel, 5, tier 3, cancel here and 4. And then of course you can go 1, 2, 5, 4 again. So. 1-2 and you can actually go 5-4 again so I try to hold the 5th uh, sometimes if I can and I try to hold the tier 3 skill like a second maybe for that so I have 2 runs for you in this video this is gonna be the first one with the Mephisto solo we'll have 3 cancel 2 cancel 1-5-4 you can see I just held that I just held that until I get about uh, 150k or something in the score uh, and then of course 2 1 5 tier 3 4 and of course we'll go 1 cancel 2 here as well. I like to use a second skill when the second proc is about to activate sadly the proc that we just had was a little bit late so definitely this can this run can be better. We'll go 2 cancel 1 5 cancel tier 3 hold it and then 4 get the most out of that proc although even if you hold some of those skills you might not uh, miss a lot of damage or the procs uh, the main reason to hold some of these skills especially the fifth which I like to hold that is to try to get the proc and uh, try to get the most out of the proc and just run with it because if I go 5 cancel 4 instantly there will be about 2 seconds remaining on the proc uh, anyway so by holding that I make it about a second remaining only so I feel like okay I'm not wasting a lot of procs so anyways now the key right now and if you are running Mephisto solo the key is going to be uh, getting your tier 3 skills in before he goes for the rover most of them okay try to Burn season, uh, the roars are uh, early. I think the silence is the earliest, I believe so. Maybe I don't, I'm not sure if, if I'm wrong, uh, correct me. I think silence is the earliest roars and the burn is the second one and the paralysis is actually the delayed roar, the most delayed roars. So anyways, I'm trying to get my stuff in. Of course, he just went for the uh, roar, which is okay. Although this is why actually I liked the paralysis season. The only reason I liked it because on paralysis, because the beast is gonna delay that roar anyhow, you get a lot of time and you can easily get your tier 3 skills in. That is why uh, you would see that sometimes on a lot of days, your scores will be better on the paralysis season than any of those uh, burn or the silent season depending on which character you're using. Sometimes it does make sense. And I like the paralysis but anyways, enough talk paralysis. Uh, it is the burn, we cannot do anything. Burn season has started guys. Anyways, uh, my whole reason for making this video uh, was because I think I, I, I thought that I already made a video for burn season blast villain but it was only for moonstone I saw and uh, there was not really a burn season swap versus the Mephisto solo team up that I posted and we were talking about that last night on live stream as well so my apologies for not being able to do it for now and this, I'm, I'm doing it right now okay so <laughs> anyways uh, 13 seconds remaining we are almost there getting the prog and uh, the, the, the score is going up slowly not not uh, crazily although we are going to be ending up at about 9 well 8.94 million so definitely I can get to 9 million uh, with the Mephisto solo now the swap uh, I like to use Cyclops here we'll go Moonstone 4, 5, 6, 3 of course and then as it finishes switch to Mephisto now we are only going to be running exact same rotation until the end I think 7 or 8 seconds remaining and then we'll switch to Moonstone at the end of the run so this is gonna be Mephisto solo from now on and then at the end we'll switch now uh, the Green Goblin lead is actually the best team up if you do use the Green Goblin lead with inside is the be is better than actually Cyclops with the inside team up but uh, Cyclops with the inside team up will be better for most people if 
they do not have their moonstone built very well and i forgot to show the moonstone build but i will show you uh, after this run how a moonstone looks like and why i do not use green goblin i always score more with this team up i always do that uh, so if you don't have a moonstone uh, well built i would say better build than mephisto or around the close I would say going for Cyclops lead will be a better option. Uh, of course, you guys can try yourself on your accounts, but Cyclops anyhow is a better deal for inside as well. So maybe you might, might want to preserve that insight on your Green Goblin and you want to just save that. So that's on you. Okay. Uh, anyways, uh, looking good around 5.5 million with almost, well, still half a time remaining. Actually, not yet. Not yet. So maybe I think we can touch six before this. Look at that. We almost are six at the halfway mark, so very nice run. And now just think that if they had not made ABX so hard for those uh, after seven million scores, it would have been amazing. So we delayed the roar a lot actually, he double jumped. So that was uh, really nice. We got some damage in, tier three skill in and the four skill. Uh, really nice that we were able to get one extra rotation in before he went for the rower, which let us use another tier 3 skill later on, which is very, very good actually. And you will see, uh, wow, <laughs> look at the score. I thought it was uh, perfectly 7.5 million. Remember the days we were struggling to hit 3.5 million? Uh, uh, they're gone. Anyways, the Mephisto is awesome. I love this character and definitely if most for the most account, Mephisto is going to be better than even Cable for this burn season specifically i still feel that uh, uh paralysis mephisto is still better than cable uh, i just feel that on a normal okay i'm not going for brilliance because not many people have brilliance so that's why i'm talking about that so of course things can be different if you have brilliant energy i think brilliant mephisto is still better than uh cable for paralysis if you talk about brilliant judgment versus brilliant energy and uh, in most cases he might out surpass the cable as well, unless you are running a Rage X or Sword. That could be very close competition between the two, Rage versus A. So pretty good score actually. Anyways, uh, we switched to Moonstone, got the last hit, and we were able to get nine point, well, eight point nine eight million. So still not nine million. I feel really bad. <laughs> so this team up is the best that works out for me. Uh, you can definitely go ahead and go for Green Goblin. He is the best uh, team up with your Moonstone and. Uh, your Mephisto swap, although I do not have an insight. Plus, uh, if I go for Moonstone, she only has two Odin's Blessings. My Mephisto has five. So I think unless I give my Moonstone a bunch of Odin's Blessings and maybe more an insight on that Green Goblin, I will still be scoring better with this team up. So let me know in the comment section what you think about the video. Let me know what, uh, what teams you're using and what combos are you liking. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Sorry I was not able to make it before. Anyways, let me know in the comment section what you think about the video. And as always, if you like the content, I hope to see you again. I'll see you all in the next one.